Today's video gets started off with a trailer reaction. Spooky season is here. Which it sure is. Only six seconds in, and I really don't want to watch the rest of the minute. The Gothic Builder's Apprentice is bringing back the mashup main event. Okay, so slamming the desk unpauses the video for some reason. Did you guys think that they could make the Builder Apprentice somehow worse? This is the type of creature you'd see in a VR chat bar lobby that you can't help but to point and laugh and throw tomatoes at. If we don't get the golem, I will be fi- that's that's it that's it right there he better not have gotten nerfed and of course the lava loon uh, i mean tunnels i know he says town hall that time the first time i heard him say the word town hall i thought they were saying dollhouse i'm starting to really understand the language of these clash devs is it me or is it getting cold in here <laughs> no that's the new temporary mashup oscar worthy acting here no way <laughs> The ice minion will trigger a freeze effect. What? Well, that's bullcrap. That's a dope obstacle. I want to point that out. But I also want to point out how bullcrap this new event troop is. You may be thinking, oh no, they only die in two hits. Yeah, but they also have a freezing effect after those two hits. So you want those minions to end it all the moment they get deployed on those tiles. And you get the lava loon at the very start. That was a cool obstacle too. Okay, hold on. I know I've made plenty of Doom references, but they're adding the Doom Cauldron as well. The scenery already looks like Victor Von Doom's castle, and this is the cauldron that you have to hold the use button on for the mask to get into your hand, and then you fly up into the air and become Dr. Doom. I refuse to believe they didn't take inspiration off Fortnite. That is so ridiculous. How many does it spawn? Two! All year long. That is not good. I already know they're going to reduce it to one. I hope to God you guys are wearing your layers because my underwear is going to be a different shade of coloring after that jump scare. Starting the day off right by getting hacked. Oh my freaking God. I didn't even think of the possibility of this. I thought it was going to be at least an event troop. Oh, chief, guess what? Different pronouns by any chance? Found a big old creepy statue in the woods. Perfect for our spooky celebrations. But if you ask me, I think this thing might actually be Eck, haunted. Why? Well, well, when I touched it, it gave me this gloomy new look. No, it didn't. You did that yourself. How are you just going to sit there and lie to me? So I suppose the Clash devs touched this haunted structure too, and it unleashed sour elixir and spooky troops everywhere. <laughs> If the game tried to do jump scares with the anime queen, I think it would actually send people to the hospital due to heart attacks. Oh, jeez, chief. Oh, my. Oh, jeez, chief. It was an accident, I promise, but maybe we can fix this. Maybe our spooky new friends can help us, too. I wonder if they're just as broken as they were last year. I think everybody that's playing Clash of Clans is happy right now. Oh, especially because we get the lava loon at the very start. We're gonna activate this. I started to save up Glowy Ore to max out. I forgot what equipment it was, but now we're gonna have to use it towards the new puppet and we get the ice minion to start things off unfortunately i'm slow in the brain but that's nothing new and i trained up two armies town hall 16 needs to finally get here it's taken way too long looks like we got another three star challenge as well it's been over a year since we've seen you and the fact that that lava loon puppet spawns two of them at most is ridiculous to me i already know it's going to get nerfed in the near future i'm starting to get worried about the direction this game is going in i could be overthinking it but i don't know it's starting to feel like clash royale in a way to where they're going to release new equipment that's overpowered and the only way to get it is if you spend the money you probably don't have to spend money but you do have to spend money if you want to get everything else well i really don't know i'm not sure if it gives you enough to buy the puppet without having to spend money on the event pass i would also like to clarify one thing before i continue this so during the treasure chest event i was told that everyone is guaranteed a legendary i looked at one comment and i just fully believed it and the reason to why i said that is because i feel like i have horrible luck when it comes to video games so the fact that i got a legendary i just thought for sure that that dude was right and i was getting a bunch of other comments of other people telling me they were getting legendaries as well however after that video dropped i got a ton of people telling me that's bullcrap because i haven't gotten a single legendary throughout the whole entire event and i just want to apologize for spreading misinformation without doing my own research first that's my bad the lizard's about to be done not done done but to level eight done I am so sick of this- wait, why did he show up for just a second? I am so sick of this pet, he only needs two more levels though. Huh, they have a roof and a decoration for the houses, but no actual house structure. We always do this. I would like to check it out. No, I don't want to go, I want to go to my- my house here. No. Please? Why is it so hard to drag up? I want- no. 
I don't want to attack. Are you freaking kidding me? I hate when this happens. So someone's left to get screwed on loot. And it would be the town hall to be the final thing. At least this is one less raid for us to do. Oh, but that's so unfortunate due to my loving of clan capital. Well, we get a bonus attack for cleaning up the remaining scraps on the dinner plate which kind of sucks we do not deserve that i've gotten all my walls done off camera by the way so it looks beautiful when it's fully complete everything is pretty much done wall breakers are finishing up then the minion will be the final troop to upgrade the lizard is finally gonna get maxed out soon and hopefully he doesn't get another five levels until town hall 30 and then for this town hall we still have to upgrade these two five more levels again i would really hope that they add another five once it's 2093 by then there'll probably be a town hall 70 then of course i still lived up to my promise of doing the archer queen last she's been at level 80 since the start of town hall 15 and she's gonna get to 90 at the very end it's time to do an attack with our new army we have no need to get elixir or gold so every time i've been doing attacks i've just been trying to find at least 10,000 dark elixir i only need dark elixir because i have everything else done i don't know if i've seen more than 17,000 dark elixir i will take this 14k if i'm gonna be honest i have no idea how these lava loons work i might might have used them two times last year because i really loved those witch golems i think they spawn puppies throughout the way if i remember from the trailer these freeze when they die how long though that's still a bullcrap unreasonable amount of time let's put our ward into air mode wait where are they going what what do they target what do the lava loons target i really don't know and the wardens activated his ability for some reason my only guess is that he got attacked by a seeking air mine oh shoot i forgot to place my siege machine as well this is going horrible do they attack air missiles i didn't know that i thought it was just defenses there's a ton of pups over here to clean up everything on this side well i've three started the base accidentally and to think there's a clan war going on right now i'm surprised that clan wars aren't disabled during these events i guess you have the choice to whether you want to start the war or not so i guess it doesn't matter yeah i don't really know what happened i kind of screwed up that attack and i still got three stars air defense so it's just like a lava hound i did not know that i really didn't i want this again so bad this was my favorite event troop of all time we got the barcher now that fast we get to bully a horrible rush town hall 13 that decided to have the genius idea to go to town hall 14 for 11,000 dark elixir where do i sign up do lava loons get one shot or not lava loons sorry the minions sam had absolutely no chance here you could have probably turned that around if you made better life decisions but you didn't and now because of your stupidity i have all of your money we were at zero trophies i think two months ago i don't remember it's nice to slowly see me climb my way back up hold on i just saw <sighs> I got the slightest glance of the name of this clan, and I am so disappointed. That is disgusting. If you don't know what that is, God bless your soul, but if you are sorry enough to know what that is, it's some stupid Naruto clan that they decided they needed to bring into Clash of Clans. Not sure why I haven't thought about this, but I can forge all of my loot into Capital Gold, because I don't even need any builders. I'm not sure if I've ever spent five builders on Capital Gold. One of them, unfortunately, did not make it to the island. I'm glad they added this feature, though, just for that exact reason reason can't trick me game i know i didn't do another army training haha <laughs> nice try perfect 14k eliza you and i think alike here with the monoliths seems like we got a smart player on our hands and he doesn't have rushed heroes or she i don't know what gender you are i'm doing a 300 iq strat with the minions now i froze the monolith and now it's gone it's so hard to keep up the lava loons go way too fast i don't know why i'm complaining about speed though for troops when that's considered to be very good these lava loons are such bull crap it's not even fair everything is destroyed by the time you look away for two seconds and you look back it's all gone uh oh we didn't get the town hall though which is not very great so i think the barchers are invisible for a little bit yeah and they do an unreasonable amount of damage as well with their bow and arrows they're a very good cleanup troop we didn't even use the full army and we three starred a lot did they nerf any of the halloween troops last year the only nerfing i recall was during the cookie event where they nerfed the little sacks of ice spirits because people would just carry a full army of those because they were so broken we're almost at the witch golem i really want to get this puppet but to do so something bad is going to happen in the supercell store they're selling 300 of these tokens for 99 cents which that's probably enough to buy four gumballs and you can only buy one i think i'm the only clash player to make that worthless purchase the cheaper keeper and some other things what the i could 
could have sworn I only got the cheaper keeper. Maybe it's glitched. Due to that bug, we're now able to get the Lava Loon Puppet and the Doom Cauldron. And all of this glowy ore. Oh, darn it. It's a building-sized obstacle. I mean, that's cool, but I have nowhere to put it. Never mind, we got a spot. I still cannot believe that they made this hero equipment. So at level 9, you get to spawn two of them, and it only requires 200 glowy ore. It is such a joke. There's no way this doesn't get nerfed. <gasps> I had enough to get it to 15? Now I only have one left. We're gonna replace the rage gem. I think this event will allow me to get it to the next level, but then I won't have enough glowy ore to get it higher. Yes! 43 king. And guess what level his archer queen is, people? 47. You are getting attacked regardless of your garbage of a base. But this will have me three star it with a smile from ear to ear. I'm just gonna spawn the two. Oh my gosh. Wait, those don't turn invincible? That's kind of stupid. Everything goes by way too fast. I don't know who designed this troop at Supercell Studios and whose idea it was to bring it back again. The town hall is just gonna keep on freezing because of these minions. So it's stuck in an endless cycle of freezing. I've had no need to use these spells down here since the start of the video. That's how long I've had them for. I got 120 more here too. I didn't even think of that. I bought the one with the raid medals yesterday. And now, nah, are you freaking kidding me? I thought I had enough to get it. One robbery later and we're allowed to. He's finally back. I'm so happy. I don't get why the hog wizard is the last one to unlock. Isn't he the worst one? Aura damage. Never mind. He has too much aura to the point where he hurts people because of it. Sorry, I wasn't aware. I don't remember that being a feature. You are not a lot of hope people in your clan are doing well in life without your screen getting dark I gotta show you guys our clan war league results seventh place. We had six months of first place wins all in a row until October comes along. And the matchmaking of this clan war league was absolute dog crap. The matchmaking was like putting up the Archer Queen against Kratos. When did I destroy 2,000 Eagle Artilleries for 1,000 gems? Wow. <laughs> he maxed out his Archer Queen and only got his king to 85 as a Town Hall 16 player. Today just gets better and better with bases. We have our new attack as well. I just like to throw them all together. Just put in everyone as a happy family and then you are guaranteed to win. <laughs> we have two lava loons just because of the puppet. It looks like we're in trouble because all the golems are low HP, but when they die, they spawn two skeleton giants each. And they all punch as hard as Thanos can with the power stone alone for some reason. You attack the wrong thing. I purposefully placed you to hit the archer tower, but it doesn't matter. Uh-oh, we might not get the three star unless the drill comes in clutch here. This drill does not have any troops inside of it. I'm just hoping that it destroys the monolith. It's going to stun it. Please. Please. <gasps> that was clutch. And we got the three star. Just like that. It sucks so much that I have nothing to spend loot on other than Dark Elixir. Of course, this guy is going to get raided though because he deserves a punishment. I don't even need his loot. I mean, I do his Dark Elixir, but I don't need his Elixir and gold. But he deserves to get attacked for the way he treats his base. At least the cannons. I'm not sure why the cannons are Town Hall 13 leveled. What about his heroes? Yep, he totally deserves it. You know what? We're going to have the king jump all of his heroes because he can do it by himself. Uh, something went wrong there. And just like that, guys, the king destroyed all of the heroes by himself. Oh my god, my audio just lagged out for a second and it scared the crap out of me. My audio's glitched. I think there's too much stuff going on so it can't handle it all. We did not easily three-star that, but we stole all of his valuables that were left over. We can now make a full army of hog wizards. I didn't even know they were called hog wizards. I thought they were just ghost hogs. The king made a huge mistake attacking my king because now the yak is upset with him. The yak just got the final hit. I saw that. The minions are defensive targeting too. I didn't know that. Oh my gosh. They're not going to get inside the walls because I didn't break them. The audio's lagging out again. Wait, so all the skeletons died to the town hall bomb even though the ability was on everything? <laughs> that was such a stupid animation. These skeleton giants are enough to three star when it comes to power, but they're not fast enough, unfortunately. And they're not really smart enough either. They could have split up to maybe destroy other things, but they chose not to. Maybe it's not enough because they're all about to get nuked here. Yep. Nope, it wasn't enough. I lied. Let's spend the rest of our tokens on this ore. Wait, I never actually got to check out my new house yet because I got distracted and it made me do an attack for some reason. Like I said, it doesn't look 
terrible. Could be worse. 15K, but it's a very powerful base. Do we risk it? I think we say yes. The queen nearly died from one placement there. How long does it take to destroy that tower? I thought it'd be maybe four hits. And my unicorn's already dead. The dumbest pet in the game and the worst pet in the game. Probably worse than the lizard. Wow. So the queen's already dead. It's going to be hard to place all these spells. But that is a lot of hog riders. Warden, you need to get with all the hogs, please. That would be really great if you did that. And we're going to use the ability now because I don't want any of them to die. I'm not good at hog rider attacks. I get really scared easily. All my hogs died to that town hall bomb. But they destroy the base way faster than the lava loons, I think. How did my only ice minion in the army survive? Never mind. Because the archer queen thought it was needed to shoot three arrows at it. And now it got jumped by the phoenix in the champion. That's what you get, archer queen. Don't ever mess with the phoenix ever again. Phoenix. The phoenix. I haven't mentioned the phoenix at all lately. I feel like it's been a few videos. But yes, the phoenix is the second best pet in the game still. I'll forever stand by that statement. What a true hero. The Yap always sacrifices himself, and then the Phoenix will survive to help clean up. What a legendary attack. <sighs> I hate Clash of Clans sometimes. Sometimes. I said sometimes. He's not wearing his costume here. I am just- I'm about to just book this. I do not want to wait for this anymore. But I also don't want to spend a book on him. Maybe I'll just use my potions, because I have probably a hundred of these. What? I only had four? Whoa, what? That's not true. I'm pretty sure someone robbed my town hall. I did not only have four. Gosh darn it, man. There's still 20 days left of this season as well. If I don't get to town hall 16 within then, I'm going to be very upset. Why did they add five more levels to these pets? The yuck was understandable. What the? I really don't want to attack it, but it's a responsibility. There's no way he got the lead king. That is so disrespectful to wear for your barbarian king. That's the Disgusting. Yeah, this guy deserves to get three-starred with no mercy either. Oh, now the queen wants to provoke the yak. That's a huge mistake. You both just got soloed by the true king. You know, this king's probably good enough to three-star the whole base. Look at this earthquake. Just destroys everything in the area. Maybe not. There's inferno towers. Frick, dude. The inferno tower locked on to the warden. I can instantly freeze the town hall and the artillery. Well, it doesn't matter because they didn't die before the whole horde came in somehow. I don't think I've ever seen this in a regular battle to where the invisibility spells made everything stand still. That was so satisfying. It's been around 10 hours since that last cut, and now the lizard only has 14 hours left. I'm just gonna gem it, because I cannot be asked to wait for this stupid creature any longer. Woo! Max level! I really hope to God with the release of Town Hall 17, they do not add five more levels to this. Even though I know they're going to, because that's what they did with some other pets when Town Hall 16 came out. It's very likely that he's gonna get five more levels, especially him, because it's not like he's overpowered like the... Phoenix. I hope the storage fills up more when I click this. Darn it. It happened with the gold, but I wasn't recording, so that sucks. Clan War has started, and yes, it is a nice and fair match. I don't understand why it's recommending me to attack someone that's already been attacked. I hate when the game does that. Whatever, I'll just attack this Town Hall 14. Why are his air sweepers facing in the same direction towards the Town Hall? And I already win, because Lava Loons just wipe out everything in their path. Sure, we'll throw in some of these minions too, even though none of this matters. That spiky ball is gonna wrap it up for us. How did this person get a 66%? That might have something to do with it. A lava loon mixed with bowlers. Oh, he went for a blimp with a hard counter to blimps, it looks like here. But let's see how he played it out. So his shield with the Lava Hound to protect the blimp was phenomenal, only leading the Lava Hound to go the opposite direction where the blimp's going. So he has no cover. That was the distance from this corner to about 20 tiles, maybe, when he had to go another 80 tiles. But let's see if he messed up spells at all. I don't think he messes up the spells at all. It's just awful blimp placement. A 16% blimp. I don't need to watch anymore because I already know how the rest played out. Why are we not using the new troops? There's no reason not to. <laughs> It's not even fair! And then, of course, the king's gonna be the one to get the town hall of all heroes. Most of the lava loons didn't even die, and they just spawn a crap ton of puppies. 
And they all died because they decided, let's go through the poison instead of one tile around it. I wish troops sometimes just had a little bit of a higher IQ. More than the last person that attacked this base. I forgot about this challenge. Okay, it looks simple enough. He's an E3 star. Oh, no. That's so unfortunate. So, I live in Florida, and I know the hurricane happened yesterday, but due to the hurricane, it cut my footage, so I lost the recording of easily three-starring that base. Guess I'll have to try again next time. I think this is where we end it for today. It's safe to say that peak Clash of Clans has come back, and this is a very fire update, I gotta say. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with these next few videos. I know Town Hall 16 is coming soon, but I need more shop offers, but this is where the video is gonna end today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.